There is a well-meaning woman named Rhonda, whom we all are very fond of. She got inspired by Judy Nadeau. She had once said to me, I want to hear the bookmates and I want to hear from the readers. And so a light bulb flashed on. Oh, what an illuminating idea. Of course, one wouldn't do this alone. So she called for a volunteer. Steve. Steve. <laughs> Said he, a movie about reading? How amazing that would be. In less than two minutes you'll hear a cacophony of snoring. I guarantee. Yet she insisted, persisted, so persuasive is she. I made her movie, albeit recalcitrantly as you shall momentarily see. Our story begins the month before June when most children in Schoolville were tied to their desks. Twisting, squirming, fretting out, sweating out, terrifying tests. But a handful of younger children had far less on their pates. They were joyfully jabbering with their so-called book mates. Who are these intruders bringing books and good cheer? Lighting up dim hallways with smiles stretching ear to ear. Bookmates, um, volunteers are compassionate. Their compassion just overflows, and it, it means so much to me as the mayor of Camden. They just have a drive, a thrive. They are very vibrant. Our bookmate comes in every week with a great smile and a lot of enthusiasm. Loving, kind, very active, all with the right heart and the right generosity and spirit. Giving individuals who really, really care about the well-being of our children. I went to a bookmate and blatantly asked her, Why are you doing this when you could be out playing Canasta? It's just so fulfilling. When I retired from work, I wanted to I wanted to do some good. I love meeting the kids and I had such a great year with Josh and with Natalia. I can't cure all ills, but I can help one kid at a time. I love to be with the children. I have a good time with the kids and enjoy reading the book. To watch Josh become a better reader. And I have an opportunity to read to them. It was fun. Mentor them a little bit. It was rewarding and it warms my heart. It really touched my heart. And feel good about myself. Gratifying. How do you feel about making this nice lady so happy? Great. Lovely thoughts, noble intentions, but let's be honest here. How many bookmates stay with it for more than a year? This is my second year being a bookmate. This is my third year. Four years. My fourth or fifth year. My fifth year. My sixth year. I've been doing bookmates for seven years. My eighth year. About nine years. I, ten years. About thirteen years. So it makes us feel special to be perpetual good deeders. But what about the children? Are they as committed to being good readers? It's important to be a good reader. I like to read. It's important to be a good reader because I take it really seriously. How long have you been bookmating? For two years. Sixteen uh, weeks. Yeah, sixteen weeks. You count the weeks? Yeah. Why do you do it? it? Takes me to the library and takes me some books to learn to read and help people read too. I'm helping my little cousin. I'm helping her read like books like these with like bigger words like chimpanzee. So what you learn with Miss Laurie are then helping other kids? Yes. That is, that is awesome. awesome. What happens when you read a new book? How does that make you feel? Um, happy, fun. When she reads to me, she makes me feel happy. Is she a good reader? Yes. I love when she reads. And I love to listen to you read. Oh, these kids must be actors perpetrating a spoof. I picked up my camera and set off to get proof. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Sometimes I read more than they do. The squirrels are the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. 
In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. Sometimes we take turns. Max said, can I have a coin? It's wilting. It's drooping. How wonderful. Maisie. I see two things. What do you say? These bananas going out of an apple tree. Right, that's, that's and so wacky. No, said, said Carl. Two, two pots for planting. This one, this one, this one. Now you can do it, now you can play. We can jump on the bed for the rest of the day. Sometimes they read more than I do. She watched birds making their nests. He showed it to his friends and family. She studied in her backyard and read about a book. They talk about their bookmates. They talk about what books they've read with their bookmates. They talk about the new words they've learned with their bookmates. We're learning bigger words. Abacus. Abacus. Which was really hard for me to sound out and she helped me with that. And when I, when I saw the word again, I was able to just say it. They're making a difference each time they connect with a young person. The books take them on different adventures. The population of children just need the attention. One-on-one -on -one attention. We do this one-on-one. -on -one. From a person that's coming, dedicated to you, one day a week. We stay with them the whole year. We just build such a rapport. The progress that I see is that the children now seem to really enjoy reading. No, Why? no, no. Why did he say no, 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 no? This is called an abacus. A different value like it's oh. a penny. A different value is a nickel. How do you think it's spelled? Ab, ah, ah. A, a. Wait, and it's a thick one. That's right. Point. Two exactly. quarters combined. It's like the ABC. It's a, B, A, C, U, S. But it's different. Exactly. And it spells abacus. And do you know how much yeah. two quarters mean, make? You're so smart. Okay, let's go on. I do see the reading improving and I see their um, enthusiasm for reading improving. What are they using the abacus to count in this picture? The money! Oh my, oh my. To my abounding surprise, I see genuine joy in their hearts and heaps of hope in their eyes. They aren't just reading. Look how they're gleaming. They're building, they're growing. It's so self-esteeming. How's our reading coming along? Good? Yes. All right, I'm very proud of you. Keep up the good work, okay? Okay. Self-esteem helps children dream bigger and reach higher. Do you think you could be president? Yeah. What do you have to do to be president, do you think? Uh, big good grades, not get in trouble. You gotta be 35 or older. You have to have confidence. It helps to have confidence, to feel good about yourself. I think I'm on a high level. To have a positive outlook. Do you feel like you're getting on a higher level because of book mating? Yes. Once confidence enters a young life, it can ripple down through generations. I'm, I'm getting better at reading and writing. Are you more confident now than you were at the beginning of the year? Yes. So is that because you're better readers? Yes. Good readers make good leaders. This movie is long past two minutes old, and if I may be unabashedly bold, it's not boring. You're not snoring. So be a dear and persevere. There are a few more stories to be told. Hi, right, can I ask you something? Yes. Are you like a good, good, good kid all the time? Not all the time. <laughs> so you're saying you might get in trouble once in a while? Yeah. Does Miss Laura talk to you about that? Yes. Do you listen to her? Yes. Is it important for you to make sure Miss Laura is happy with you? Yes. Is he a good guy? One, yes. We're learning not just about books and reading books, but we're also learning about life. About life. Last week, something happened in class and we discussed why, what happened, why it happened, and then we wrote a letter to his teacher apologizing and I think that helped you right? Mm -hmm. Walking to the door and opening that door they all come running up to me and they say Miss Mindy, Miss Mindy can I go with you today? Every kid in the class puts their hand up and yells me 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 take me take me take me take me take me take me you hug her? <laughs> you come and hug you her? 
she would come out of her room and down the hall and just give me a big hug and say, Miss Jean, I'm so glad you're here. What are you so excited about? Because she's going to help me read. We're so happy to see each other. Seeing a child light up, it just shows that, you know, how much they really enjoy the program. Just makes me feel such gratitude. I actually missed uh, last week and when I went this week both my little girls asked me why I wasn't there and how much they missed me and missed you know not reading really made me feel great. We are reading a book about uh, Betsy Biddle and uh, Betsy Biddle had problems making a friend at school. What an impact Bookmates is making on these kids. And uh, I turned to my Adriana and I said Adriana who's your best friend? Without a moment's hesitation, she said, Miss Chris, it's you. <laughs> I just melted. And when they give me hugs and kisses and they say, you know, can I come read with you? I, I, I think I'm doing something right. I have one little girl in kindergarten. Um, she reads probably better than I do. My little girl from Pakistan is teaching me Urdu. She tells me that she reads the Bible every night and she was born in an elevator. I'm learning. She tells me the word in Urdu and then it has me repeat it. You know, I kind of am thinking it might or might not be entirely true, but <laughs> when we can sit together and they tell me that they love the book, when I can come back the next week and they ask for me to read it again, um, there's just nothing better than that. We're doing chapter books now, which they've never done before. The experience that I've had with the kids has been the greatest gift of all to me. So it's quite rewarding. What happens when a, an ex-bookmate or an older bookmate sees you? It just happened. The other day, Josh uh, came up to me and he said, Miss Sally, I haven't seen you. And he gives me a great big hug. My bookmate makes my day. He tells me how good I am. And how does that make you feel? Happy. I say bookmate. What do you say? Um, smart, pretty, intelligent, um, helpful. When they laugh, it makes me laugh. Bookmates are funny, they're nice. It's fun. Lava. Of course I love you. Would you rather have Miss Gail come or hmm, Santa Claus? Miss Gail. Miss Gail. Really? Choosing bookmates oh, wow. over Santa Claus? That's very difficult to top. I believe this may be the ideal time for a movie to... Stop. <laughs> bookmates rock. Bookmates rock. Judy? Thank you for inspiring me. It's good to read with Miss Pat because sometimes in class I don't have to uh, be in class and then sometimes I can enjoy being with Miss Pat. She's a hall pass for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.